The latest statistics from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show the state pension currently provides regular financial support for 12. 7 million older people across the country, including over 1 million retirees living in Scotland. This payment is available for those who have reached the UK government's eligible retirement age, which is currently 66 for both men and women, and have paid at least 10 years worth of national insurance contributions. However, people approaching the official age of retirement this year may not be aware the state pension is regarded as a contributory benefit and is not paid automatically by the DWP. The payment needs to be claimed, or retirees could face a delay in receiving their first payment of up to £221.20 each week, or £884.80 every four-week pay period. The money is not paid automatically when someone reaches state pension age as some people choose to defer making a claim in order to keep working and generate more towards their pension pot, especially if they have not paid the full quota of 35 years worth of national insurance contributions, or were contracted out. DWP guidance explains, you do not get your state pension automatically, you have to claim it. You should get a letter no later than two months before you reach state pension age, telling you what to do. It then clarifies you can either claim your state pension or delay, defer, claiming it. It states, if you want to defer, you do not have to do anything. Your pension will automatically be deferred until you claim it. Which means, unless you respond to the letter confirming you want to start claiming state pension, you will not receive any payments as the DWP will interpret no response as a wish to defer. Deferring your state pension could increase the payments you get each week when you decide to claim it, as long as you defer for at least 9 weeks. Your state pension increases by the equivalent of 1% for every 9 weeks you defer, this works out as just under 5. 8% for every 52 weeks. The extra amount is paid with your regular state pension payment, however, it's important to be aware any extra payments you get from deferring could be taxed, find out more on Gov. UK here. It's also important to be aware deferred state pensions increase each year in line with the September Consumer Price Index CPI, inflation rate and not the highest measure of the triple lock policy. New State Pension Payment Rates 2024-25 Full Payment Rate, £221.20 every four-week pay period, £884. 80 Basic State Pension Payment Rates 2024-25 Category A or B Basic State Pension, Full Rate, £169. 50 every 4 week pay period, £678 your first payment your first payment will be within 5 weeks of reaching state pension age and you will get a full payment every 4 weeks after. You might get part of a payment before your first full payment. The letter will tell you what to expect. You can also choose to receive your state pension payments weekly or fortnightly which will result in a shorter delay for the first payment, find out more here. Your state pension payment day The day your state pension is paid depends on your national insurance number. Last two digits of your national insurance number, 00 to 19, paid on a Monday 20 to 39, paid on a Tuesday 40 to 59, Paid on a Wednesday 60 to 79, paid on a Thursday 80 to 99, paid on a Friday DWP starting amount for the new state pension if you have qualifying years on your national insurance record as at April 5, 2016, DWP works out a starting amount for you for the new state pension. It is the higher of either, the amount you would have got under the previous state pension system up to April 6, 2016, or the amount you would get on your record to April 6, 2016 if the new state pension had been in place at the start of your working life both amounts reflect any periods when you were contracted out of the additional state pension. 
your starting amount could be less than, more than or equal to the full new state pension. If your starting amount is less than the full amount of the new state pension each qualifying year you add to your national insurance record after April 5, 2016 will add a certain amount, about £6.32 a week, this is £221.20 divided by 35, to your starting amount, until you reach the full amount of the new state pension or you reach state pension age, whichever happens first. If your starting amount is more than the full amount of the new state pension you will get this higher amount when you reach state pension age. It is possible to have a starting amount higher than the full new state pension if you have some additional state pension. The difference between the full new state pension and your starting amount is called your protected payment. If your starting amount is equal to the full new state pension you will get the full new state pension when you reach state pension age. How can I find out how much state pension I could get? You can get a state pension forecast online from the Check Your State Pension service here. This provides personalized information, including your state pension age, an estimate of how much state pension you may get at that point and if you can increase this amount. It also allows you to view your national insurance contribution history. More information about differing your state pension can be found on the Gov. UK website here. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for money saving tips, the latest benefits news, energy bill advice and cost of living updates. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday with a special cost of living edition every Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day or at Money News Alerts on your phone by joining our daily Record Money WhatsApp community.